Hello Internet, my name is Quinn and this is Blondie Hacks. So today we're working on my universal tripod smartphone mount. It's an aluminum spring clamp that holds any brand of smartphone securely in any location. And uh, it's quick to remove and reinstall. I'm going to show you how I made it right now. So let's dive in. So here's the basic design in Fusion 360, and uh, the design trick that makes this work is that the angle of those arms uh, kind of presses the smartphone forward into the uh, into the, the crook of the L there, and that's what holds the phone securely. So these are made from solid blocks of aluminum, so I'm uh, cutting some uh, scrap here to size that I have with the portable bandsaw. And then I face off those rough cuts with the mill. This is a, a two and a half inch cobalt shell mill. The, the sides are not going to be machined, and so they're not very perfectly square. So that in order to hold them square in the vise, you use something round like a ball bearing or, and in this case, a piece of drill rod. And then I find the edges so that I can zero out my DRO. And then I mill out the main portion of the L shape there just to uh, get the shape that we need. And uh, lastly, I do a pass. Uh, on the y-axis to clean up that edge on the inside corner of the L there. And I got layout marks there just for kind of sanity checking my DRO math, but uh, DRO did, uh, did all the heavy lifting here. And here you can see me using the DRO to line up for the slots. I'm going to 375 at one end. I, I pre-drill each end of each slot so that I don't have to do too much plunging with end mills, which I don't like to do. So by pre-drilling a little undersized, then the end mill can just finish out to final dimension. And uh, so I just go back and forth, plunging a little at each end, and then going back the other way. And then I drill and tap for the uh, quarter 20 tripod mounting bolt in the bottom uh, arm. I should note that uh, I, I've made two of these arms. I'm not going to show both of them, but uh, one of them has this hole tapped in it for the tripod mount. And I'm just tap hand tapping this uh, using a spring-loaded tap follower in the mill. And then we just uh, deburr those edges with a file. And I'm marking out for the hinge cuts. And again, I'm using the DRO to actually calculate those, but the layout lines are a nice sanity check. So I mill out the center of one with a, a half inch end mill, which is uh, convenient because I, uh, I want the final dimension to be a half inch. So uh, I get a, a nice easy one pass operation. This vertical setup here is kind of interesting uh, because I need square inside corners. And uh, so doing this type of setup is really the only way to get that. I'm doing light passes because the setup is not especially rigid, being aluminum uh, kind of held up at, uh, at an extent like that. I'm cross-drilling for the hinge pin, uh, just using a piece of machine scrap as a backstop. And I drill it a little undersize and then ream it to final dimensions so that the uh, hinge pin has a very precise fit. Here's the hinge pin, uh, making this on the lathe from some uh, drill rod, quarter inch drill rod, just facing off the end. And then just deburring those edges with a file to make it nice. It's always a little gut checking to work this close to the chuck. So you've got to be careful with the file. And then the grippy part on the ends is done with Plasti Dip. This is really interesting stuff. You can check my blog for a lot more details on uh, how to use this stuff. There's a link in the description. And after that stuff cures, it'll be all ready to go. And then to clean up the edges, I just mark them and slice with a razor blade. And it comes off very, very cleanly, as you'll see. Plasti dip is pretty great stuff. That's very satisfying. And there's my two parts. And finally the hinge pin is assembled and a little bit of Loctite on one end just to hold it in place. Don't get any in the hinge area itself there. And I use some forceps to attach the springs. And there we go. Quick test on an iPhone SE. Works great. It's 
actually very secure in there. Even even without a case, I've uh, I've never had a phone fall out of it. Some use cases, you can see it mounted on a tripod here. Here it is holding a Note 8 in Portrait or a Nexus 6 in Landscape. And you can also use it uh, on a Noga arm to mount uh, cameras anywhere you want. That is my smartphone camera mount. I hope you enjoyed watching how this was made. You can get complete 3D models and mechanical drawings of this device on my Patreon feed, as well as uh, exclusive project videos. There is a link in the description. Thanks for watching.